today there's been a lot of darkness with me. I don't know about you, but I go through times when I'm pretty moody and I'm not dealing the best that I can with life. Today is one of them. I just didn't sleep very well. I felt very nauseous. Um, I've got a lot of heaviness in my body, my head. And we do talk about the darkness. And today, I'm quite in the, I felt that quite a lot of the day, I just couldn't get things to work. I just ordered another webcam, a good webcam, I thought. And it was awful. So dark, absolutely no light. Colors were all distorted. Um, completely distorted. And um, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to my computer to accept it. I couldn't sort the settings. And you know, it's getting on my nerves, all these webcams. Um, every time I order one, the colors jumping in and out. Uh, it's, this is the only one I can use. It's an old one, a Logitech, and it seems to work. Um, but just, you know, as I say, it's not the best, it's dull. Um, it's not very bright, um, and I wish I could find something a little bit better, but I can't at the moment. So I've just got to settle with what I have. So hang on a sec, I'm just going to pause this a sec. So I've got more light. The common sense thing today would have been to just contact Amazon and ask them for a refund, quite honestly. That's what I should have done. And it took me a while to get to that level where I was able to do it. And I've tried to do some balandafa. Like the days when I used to get my, <laughs> when I used to be younger, when I still had uh, women issues. Well, I still have women's issues. You know, they got worse as I got older. But just feeling out of sorts today in a big way. A day where it's best to keep away from me and yet it's quite difficult for my husband because we only have a very small place. One bedroom, with a lounge and a bedroom and tiny kitchen. But it wasn't working together today. So there's a lot of the darkness, a lot of confusion, not working today, to say, trying to get into the light. Do Falun Dafa. And just do it with me if you're in the same space of confusion and nothing is working. So um, trying to come back into balance to do this for you. So I don't have a studio. I work in the lounge and everything's all over the place. It's a bit difficult to do everything in the same room, but I'm better off than a lot of people that don't even have a lounge, you know, that completely homeless. So today I'm trying to negotiate what could I have done better today? Well, as I said, I should have just let go of this webcam altogether. Okay. Okay, where was I? <laughs> I sounded a bit crazy today. The awakening from yesterday is now exporting to go on tonight. So, um, I mean, how did I ne negotiate from coming from the space of confusion and darkness into the light? Well, one thing that I couldn't deal with was the lottery, waiting to release the money for encounters. They're just driving me crazy and I couldn't do it on my own. So I approached a wonderful guy, Peter Healy, who seems to be able to do nearly everything, a bit like a godfather <laughs> in a positive way. And he's going to look at that tomorrow and hopefully sort it out, what it is that's missing to release the money. So I was able to hand it over to a higher power, 
okay, now I've got issues. I know I get confused. I know my head goes all over the place. I know I don't look after myself enough sometimes. I, I can only meditate so much. And I did a lot of that last night. But it's also getting closer to the anniversary of my dad's death tomorrow, four years ago. And so darkness and fear and confusion that's coming in because a lot of my life changed after my father died. I lost the whole of my family, so to speak. I was cut off more or less. And so maybe that's why subconsciously I'm feeling like I am, and maybe you are too. What is really going on? What is really going on? Why can't I seem to breathe at the moment? Why can't I seem to relax? And so that's the darkness, you know, there's lots of energies going along around, lots of chaos, too much. Um, it wasn't fair on Martin today. My behavior wasn't fair. The guy was just being so nice and kind and gentle. Um, I just couldn't be what you wanted me to be. I'm just all over the place. All over. So the best time, it's best to leave me on my own to get on with it. And so I feel a little bit better now because I've managed to get a refund from Amazon. They're pretty good these days. You know, they, they refund you straight away. And, you know, they're pretty good that way. I managed to get myself to look a little bit better to do a transmission for you guys to show you how I'm going to negotiate this now. Come out of the dark. Once I've done this, then that's it. I've done what I had to do. I sorted my refund, thank God. But um, I need to get a better webcam, so I'm going to look into it. God, my head's everywhere. I'm talking continuous gibberish, I think. So the best thing I think to do would be to pull a How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World card. Let's pull a card. Um, one of the best things I've heard in the last few days is about the president of Madagascar. What an amazing guy. Uh, his name is, um, uh, oh God, Andre uh, Rachiola, something like that, I can't pronounce it. Trying to get him on moving on TV because I think it'd be incredible to have him on here. I want him to talk about how he's actually created a herbal remedy for COVID and he's giving it free to his people and they're all getting well. They're all getting well. Isn't that amazing? Horrible, pure. I need to get him on moving on TV. Um, I have emailed, I have Facebooked and uh, hopefully I'll let you know about that one. Okay, let's see. Validation. Today I'll make sure I am validated, I feel validated. I'm ringing that bell and saying, I don't feel well. It's been coming out sideways, so the best way you can do it is ring your metaphorical bell. I don't feel well today. Uh, we had a little bell. Sometimes I rang the bell all day in order to get love and attention. My bell is my way of acknowledging myself and my need for support. You can now use a metaphorical bell to ask for help if you need it. Perhaps we feel we didn't get the love and validation we needed from our parents. Validation gives us our self-esteem and helps us believe we are amazing human beings who can be ourselves. Now is our time to grow and to believe we deserve it. We have a right to be angry, tired, scared and frustrated. Don't forget, it's okay to have feelings. Use this card to say, hey, I'm here, listen to me and validate my feelings, I matter. Ring your bell today, my friend. Today is your day to be yourself. I'm validated and loved today by all. So today I'm ringing my bell and I'm saying, you can ring my bell. I'm saying, help. Guys, I don't feel too good. My head is all over the place. It doesn't mean that I'm in the darkness. It just If I'm validating it and able to say, help, today I'm ringing my bell, and that's half the battle. You're halfway there because you're saying, help, I'm ringing my bell. I need help. I need support. This isn't working for me today. And then you do your best to get the space you need. So I put on my Zoom. I put on the lights. 
and we do our dark to light. So I hope that helps you today. Uh, it's been a bit disjointed, a bit all over the place. As I say, there's a lot of loneliness coming up to dad's death, a lot of emotions coming in, sadness, fear, panic. Um, yeah, let's just sit for a little while and breathe, shall we? We'll get a fallen down Very simple to bring you back into balance. Bring me back into balance. Very powerful exercise, it's very gentle. Another one you can do is just, I'm sitting down, but you go all the way, you bring the energy up around your back, all the way to the front, very gently. And down to your sitting position, and again. All the way around the legs, around the back, force the arms at the back, bring them up and bring them down very gently. Very, very gently. And then you move the energy around the stomach area like this four times. Four times. And there you go. Today, Course in Miracles is a review. It talks about the mind of love. Do your best to stay in love today. I have to go and apologize now for the bitch I've been today. I acknowledge that I needed the space and the validation. Luckily, we have a nice shed, a summer kind of space that my husband can go in this weather to sit. And that I can actually get a bit of space to do some work. And he's done a hypnotherapy session for everyone. I hope you're using it and enjoying it. I'm going to get him on there to do another one. Love you lots, guys. Enjoy the awakening. Bringing the hope, peace and glory back into our lives. I've put out the playlist today of mental health. There's loads of programs on there to help you with anxiety, depression, how to stay sane in the crazy world. I better go and eat. H-A-L-T, don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. Love you lots. Take care. Stay awake. Mm -hmm.